A long time ago, there was this guy named John, and John wanted to see the world. He lived at a time that there were hardly any books and most people couldn't read because all the books had to be handwritten. But as John set out to see the world, he heard about an old guy named Lawrence who wasn't writing books but was printing them with wood letters. You see, Lawrence was a grandpa and he had learned to read and wanted his grandkids to learn to read. But because he didn't have access to any books for them to read, he went out into the woods and carved letters out of the tree. And one day while he was bringing home these letters, he had wrapped them in a piece of paper. They realized because those letters were wet from the tree, they had pressed against the paper and created these imprints on the paper. And he got the idea that he could maybe press these wooden letters against paper and create copies of the book. Now, when John saw this, he was thrilled at the idea that we didn't have to hand write everything. He thanked Lawrence so much for showing him what he was doing with his grandkids. And he went home and immediately started building a crazy machine that could press letters against it with ink and do the first ever printing press. This idea consumed John so much that it took up all of his time, all of his energy, and all of his money for many years trying to make this machine. But a lot of people really disliked this idea. The people that were writing books, they thought he was going to steal all their jobs. Other people thought he was some kind of wizard or that he was doing something bad. John himself had nightmares at night of angels telling him that he needed to stop the work. And he would wake up and grab a giant mallet and he would almost destroy the machine several times. But each time he kept feeling some sort of feeling and comfort that this was going to do a great work. That it would be the biggest blessing to many people that weren't able to read or have access to books like the Bible. And so John continued forward. Even though it cost him to be kicked out of his own hometown and be forced from town to town from many people that disliked his idea. Even though that his idea would later be stolen from him, the print and press and all the Bibles. Even though it never made him a lot of money, John never gave up and kept working for it and is known today as one of the greatest inventors of all history for creating the first ever printing press. You, like John, have a great work to do. And often we'll feel a lot of things going against us as we try to go and do and be great things. Sometimes those things are other people around us, and sometimes they're our own thoughts that try to hold us back and keep us from becoming and doing what we need to do. I hope in that moment you dig down deep and find the strength and courage to keep going. Because we need you. We need that brilliant mind you have. Your imaginations. Your inventions. Just as John Gutenberg was needed for his time, we need you today. And it's only those who are different from the world that can actually change the world.